hey what is up guys and dts is back again with uh, this another video which is the next video of the 4 into 4 solve which is part 2 in which i'll be teaching you how to solve the um, edges the previous video was quite long as uh, this was the beginner and uh, people would be wanting each and every step while they solve so I made it a bit longer, um, you can fast forward it if you want uh, and now you will be learning how to solve the edges of the 4x4. So after you have solved the centers it must be correctly aligned, white on the, on the top or in the front, R on the right there must be blue, on the side there must be green, the opposite side of red must be orange and the opposite side of white must be yellow. So all these centers are correctly aligned and now what you are going to be doing is you have to create an edge which is correctly aligned um, and uh, I don't think we have any of these edges over here which is correctly aligned nope so we have to create one by one each and every edge so um, let me show you a um, demo so we will be creating an edge of two colors over here and two colors over here like for example blue and orange so we have to locate a blue and orange piece uh, it's over here. We, are, we need to get it on the opposite side. Uh, we do this, this. We get it to the opposite, opposite. You connect it like this. Bring it to the top layer, working space. You misplace it to the opposite side and bring it down back and connect it back. So you have your um, blue and orange correctly. Away. <laughs> so now that was a bit confusing as I went too fast. So this is how you make the uh, edge, and now I'll be showing you how to do it slowly. So what you're gonna do first is you have to find a piece and of one piece of like for example a white and blue and you have to locate the other one um where is the other white and blue uh, it's right away when you locate this uh, the other piece you have to get the other piece opposite to the uh, one which is already placed so you have to get this piece to the opposite so first we need to do is first we will bring it to the top and match both of them in the same working area so as you can see that the blue and white is over here the blue and white is over here but what we have to do is you have to get it not aligned with this but to the opposite side it should be going opposite so what you have to do is keep this to the top first keep the uh, the working area to the top now you bring this one this one piece or this one piece if you want uh, I'll bring the left one down then take this to the opposite side of this piece so you take this to the opposite side at the back and turn this piece towards in the front. Just this piece to the front. Now you can see that the blue is over here and the white is over here and the blue is over here and the white is over here. So we have two opposite colors in the opposite sides. It's not aligned, it's in the opposite sides. Don't matter the other pieces. So what we are going to do next is after aligning this piece oppositely um, corresponding to each other we are going to match this white and blue piece to this white and blue piece like this we are going to rotate these two the, um, these two layers like this and now these two are connected but as you can see that the centers are messed up right now so now this is your solving area and this is your working area so after you solve these two pieces you have to find an unmatched pair on the top so now as we have four unmatched pairs we can bring this two aligned pieces to the top like this now we can um, ex uh, switch it with the any any of the uh, unmatched pair like this now you have to switch now you have switch this one with this one you bring this one down like this and you align the centers as you will be um, as you would not care about displacing these two pieces so now we have one piece correctly aligned let me show you another example so after solving this one you do not care about this one what you care about is one piece over here, one piece over here, and one unmatched piece on the top. So these three pieces are going to solve one edge. So as we have already got this one, let's go for some other piece. Let's have a yellow and red one. So let's locate the other yellow and red piece. Um, oh, it's right over here. This is the yellow and red over here, and this is the yellow and red over here. So first we'll, we are going to get this in the solving area, this is going to be a solving area but now as you can see that again this is correctly aligned to this 
but we need to have it opposite this must if this is on the top this must be on the bottom on the opposite side so what you're going to do is the same thing we need to get one piece to the bottom like this turn this piece opposite side towards the top and this piece the front you have to bring it up so at last you can see that the red and yellow yellow and red so these are in the opposite side you're going to do the same thing again now you are going to uh, bring the this piece this you're going to connect it like this you have it over here now you have many unmatched pairs so you're going to bring this to the top like this move it out of the way bring an unmatched pair in the in the place of the pair which was matched and bring it down so that you don't mess up the centers and align it back that's it this is simple so you have two edges like this one edge over here and uh, one edge over here let me show you an other example so let's take this white and red over here and uh, another white and red um, so when you're moving around the cube to look at the edge piece you have to keep one finger over here and then look around so that you do not mess up the other one um, Ah, it's right over here. So you have one right, white and red over here, one white and red over here. So what you're gonna do is bring it to the top, where which is your solving area. So now you have it correctly placed to the opposite side. The white is on the top, red is on the top, red over here, white over here. So you have it correctly opposite. So you're gonna match it again. And uh, first you have to check if you have unmatched pair. Remember that you already have a match pair over here. But there's an unmatched pair over here, unmatched pair over here, unmatched pair over here. So what you can do is first match these two pieces now you have these two pieces matched red red white white now you're going to take it to the top and now if you exchange it with the match pair and bring it down you're going to mess up the match pair so what you have to do is you have to bring the unmatched pair which is this in the place of the match pair and bring it down and join it back again like this there you go, you have solved one over here, um, the second one over here, and the third one over here. So that's how you do it, and um, after solving half of the edges, I mean three fourths of the edges, you will have a situation in which you will have only three remaining or two remaining. So every time you solve two edges, I mean uh, two pieces and make it one edge pair, you should make um, you should make sure that there's already an um, uh, unmatched pair like this in the top which is the working area and this is the solving area so let me go ahead and do it fast uh, solving the other edges and uh, at last when there are three remaining or two remaining when there are two remaining that it's a parity and when you have three remaining i'll show you how to do it so now we have got to the last situation which will be three corner i mean three edge remaining so over here you have to uh, you can figure this out by seeing the pieces itself so when you have an uh, yellow and an orange and yellow and an orange which will form one pair then you have a orange and a white uh, orange and a white which will form the other pair and white and a green and a white and a green which will form the third pair so you need to have first the yellow and orange and yellow and orange in the opposite sides like this so what you're gonna do is same thing first you'll bring it to the bottom like this move this to the top and turn this front so that we we'll get this opposite side correctly aligned and uh, turn it back like this so now we have the white and uh, sorry orange and yellow orange and yellow on the two opposite sides and we have one unmatched pair on the top so what you're gonna do is first we need to align this piece with this one we align it like this without moving the top so these two are aligned you can see that they are aligned so we bring this to the top like this Switch it with the unmatched piece like this, bring it to the bottom like this and uh, turn it back on. That's it. Now sometimes when you do this, you might get the pieces, all the pieces, all the edges solved or you will have like this, just, just two remaining. So this is a parity, P-A-R-I-T-Y. What's a parity is? Um, you cannot solve these two pieces without using an algorithm. So for solving these two, we need an algorithm which I'll be showing you right now. These two layers together, up inverted, two, two layer up inverted, then right, 
a right inverted front right inverted front inverted right and front uh sorry um two layers up and that's it you go and solve both of these edges now i'm going to show you this how this is done again so now again you have these two pieces um so at the last when you have two pieces remaining like two only two edges should be solved you need to you should not keep them in the opposite side and when there are two remaining you should always keep them aligned when there are three that's a different when like you're just uh, matching them like this that's why you keep it on the opposite side but when you have two remaining you have to keep them both in the same line like you see over here white and orange orange and white they are in the same line white and green white and green are in the same line so the algorithm goes like this after you keep them in the same position um two layer up inverted right up right inverted front right inverted front inverted right two layer up that's it you don't mess up these centers and the two edges are solved this was very simple and this is how you solve all the other i mean all the edge pieces and um, i hope it helped you in solving all the others and when you have three remaining remember that you should keep one unmatched piece on the top and two in the front and when you have two uh, two edge pieces remaining you should keep both of those in the same line like this and then solve it using the algorithm which i just showed you right now over here so this is up for this video um uh, as i showed you how to solve the edge piece and the next video will be the final video in which i'll be seeing, uh, teaching you how to solve this complete puzzle along with the parodies so you can click on the video um, just right over here in the suggestion box you can see over there how to solve the 484 completely thanks for watching guys bye